Welcome to No Silly Questions, the show where we attempt to answer any question you have about Salesforce, no matter how silly you think it is. I'm your host, Jillian Bruce, and I scour the Trailblazer ecosystem to get expert answers to your video questions. Today, we've got a question from Sarah. Sarah, take it away. Hi, I'm Sarah from Sacramento, California. I think most admins can agree that multi-select pick lists need to go. So I'm wondering if Salesforce has a process for sunsetting or introducing new field types. Great question, Sarah. You know, multi-select pick lists, I know there's many admins who'd like to see those disappear, but I've got an expert answer for you from James Ferguson, who's a product manager whose team manages metadata and schema, which includes field types. So James, what you got for Sarah? It's a great question. And the answer to the question is yes. Yes, we do have processes for all of these things. I will say for adding a new field type though, it's pretty rare. It's not so much that they're hard in and of themselves. It's just how do they surface within the platform? How does it get leveraged in SQL? How does it get leveraged in Apex? How does it get surfaced in Process Builder? What are the things we need to do with that? If you look at, for example, geolocation, um, this is something, it's not just a set of GPS coordinates. We need to think about how it's surfaced throughout the platform. We have added a few field types over the years, a few relationship types uh, come to mind, but not that many. Now, sunsetting a field type is different and it's hard. And it's hard because those fields have customer data in them. Those fields are in partner app exchange packages. Those fields are being used by customers. And so uh, getting rid of them is not easy. Uh, yes, we do have a process that we can use if it's something we really need to do, uh, but it would be a long and careful process to make sure we handle all of that customer trust uh, expectations. Now back to multi-select pick lists. Uh, I know multi-select pick lists have a special place in people's hearts, but I will say that doesn't mean they aren't getting used. I looked over the last seven days and I can see more than 3,000 multi-select pick lists being created through the custom field wizard alone. And that doesn't include the thousands coming in through the metadata API and more than 15,000 being installed via app exchange packages. So I don't think they're going away anytime soon. I hope that answers your question. Thank you, James, so much for that explanation and for all the work that your teams do to help awesome admins be amazing. And thank you, Sarah, for your great question. Now, I bet you've got some questions in your mind that you might think are a little silly. Well, stop right there, record a video and send those questions to me. You can find me on the Trailblazer community or on Twitter. I want to know, what do you want to know about Salesforce? Send me your questions and we'll catch you next time in the cloud.